Silver Hawaii! A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi yo silver. The Lone Ranger. In the early days of the western United States, outlaws roamed the range country and some of the bands became so powerful that local districts were under their domination. The local sheriffs were unable to control them, and it was not until the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for justice that law and order was brought to the new territory. Return with us now those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. It was noon when Mike Rafferty, the sheriff of Columbus County, entered the cafe in Brunswick, the county seat. With him was a small group of men, all of them dusty and tired for many hours, spent in the saddle and... All right, Sheriff. What luck did you have? Well, they got away. Again? Uh, that makes the third time this month. What happened? They took a stand over to the South Pass, and we had to drop back. Didn't have enough fellas to rush the skunks. Well, I was afraid of that. Lobo Lawson's a slick customer. But we'd get him if it wasn't for Deke Brady. Maybe the other bunch got Deke. I don't know. I'm willing to bet they didn't. Blasted outlaws. If I could get all the fellas together to go after just one of them gangs, it'd be all right. Well, why don't you? You ought to know why. How about the time I took everybody with me when we got word Deke had stole some of Phil Bott's critters? I wasn't around here then. What happened? Why, we hightailed after Deke, and we caught up to that Russell herd, too. Just as soon as Deke seen how many fellas were with me, he let the herd go and cleared out. That wasn't so bad. You got the beef back anyhow. Yeah. Well, them blasted coyotes didn't give a hoot about the beef. They'd been fixed up between them. Deke and his gang got me and the fellas out of town. Then when we's gone, in come Lobo with his gang, and they just about took the town apart. Helped themselves to everything in sight and rode away laughing. Well, that was a doggone tough break, Sheriff. And them crooks have been working that way ever since. While Deke gets cattle or horses, Lobo holds up the stage or something like that. They savvy dog going well. I can't take all the boys and go after just one of them. And when I divide up to go after both, then there ain't enough fellas in each of the posses to get either one of them gangs. Yes, sir. You've got to admit them crooks plenty smart. As long as they keep on working together the way they've been doing, I don't see how nothing can stop them. Blast them. They got me so I don't know what to do anymore. Wish my deputy would get back. I'm anxious to see if his bunch had any better luck with Deke than we had with Lobo. I think some fellas just rode up outside. <clears throat> yeah, that's them. Uh-huh, they're coming in. And empty-handed. Not a dog going prisoner with them. Well, that's the way I figured it'd be. Deke got clean away, huh, Barney? Sure did, Sheriff. Hanson's cow's with him. They put up a fight? Late for us in the woods beyond the flats. Wounded Clem and throats the dog on much led our way. They'd have got the rest of us if we hadn't cleared out. 
You had to let Lobo go, huh? With all the cash that was on the stage. Well, we've done the best we could. Only trouble is, that same don't seem to be good enough. Pretty soon, both them gangs will be striking at once. Then the same thing will be happening all over again. I don't know Say, what you're Say, gonna... Sheriff, huh? that engine just come in. Stranger here, ain't he? Where about you see him, Bill? Uh, just the other side of them two fellas down far end of the bar. See him? Oh. Wait. Who is he? You act like you recognize him, Sheriff. If that's the redskin, I think it is. By golly, it is. That fellow's won it. Hey, grab that engine. Hold on to it. You, you crook. You're wanted over to Western. Stand where you are. He's heading for the door. I'll get him. You missed. Come on, fellas. After him. Don't let him get away. Engine. Hey, engine, this way. You help, Control. Jump up behind me in the saddle here. I'll get you clear. Huh? Get up. Get up. Get up. I'm after them. The way our horses are, they've done all the traveling they're going to do till they get some rest. We'll have to let the engine go, men. But keep your eyes out for him, and maybe you can grab him some other time. The man who had come to Tonto's rescue in town sent his horse racing across country toward a distant line of wooded hills. Entering the woods, he guided his mount deep within the trees, until suddenly they broke into a clearing where a group of men were gathered about campfires. There he reined up. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Is he back from town already, Fritz? Who's that you got with you? By thunder, a redskin. Where's the boy? Here I am. Fritz, I thought I told you to stay in town till you seen them posses get back. They are, Deke, both of them. <laughs> get down, Injun. Uh-huh. Down. Who's the redskin? <laughs> the law tried to get him, boss. Only I seen to it, he got away. What'd you do that for? Hey, you said we could use some more men in the gang, didn't you? We ain't taking in just anybody. That's just it, boss. The law tried to jail this fella. We know he's a crook. That's a heap better letting some fella join us up that we wasn't sure of. Maybe so. What's your handle, Injun? Me, Tonto. Tonto? That right. You hear what Fitz just said? You willing to join up with us? Oh, me like it. How handy are you with a gun? Me, all right. Yeah? Well, we'll see about that. Here, take this one. Uh. Now, let's see what you can do with it. See that stump over there? Uh Uh-huh. Me see it. And them two stones are laying on top? Uh Uh-huh. Well, see if you can hit them. Ah, Deke, that ain't a fair test. I couldn't be sure of hitting that kind of a target myself. He can try, can he? Me hit him. You watch. Go ahead. Well, be told. Say, that's some shooting. Got them both clean and just raise your shooting arm without hardly seeing my name. <laughs> if you can shoot like that all the time, you'll come in blame handy. Anything else you're good at? Mm, me follow trail. Uh-huh. Being a redskin, I suppose you can. And that's something mighty useful, too. What do you say, boss? All right with me. Well, Injun, make yourself to home. There's grub over by them fires and extra blankets for the asking. Help yourself. Oh, Tonto, don't do that. Well, Fritz, you say them posse did get back before you left? Yeah, the sheriff with his and the deputy with the one he left. <laughs> and no prisoners, and huh? Nary a one. <laughs> Which means Lobo and his bunch got away just as slick as we did. <laughs> Fritz, things are going fine. <laughs> uh, what are we going to try another raid? Yeah, pretty quick. Ain't no use giving the law time to think up a way to get us. Yeah. I'll look for Lobo to ride over here sometime tomorrow. Then we get together on another scheme. I... I was just thinking, boss. Yeah? After helping the engine get away in town today, I... Well, I ain't gonna be able to spy out things there no more. Somebody'd recognize me sure if I was to go back. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, it don't matter. We got other fellows the law ain't met up with yet. Mm. Uh, what'd you do with the beef critters you got? Hazed them into the valley and bunched them there. One more raid, and we'll have enough for a trip across the Rio. <laughs> Lone Ranger had made his camp in the same woods chosen by Deke and his gang. It was late at night, but the masked man had built no fire. He seemed to be listening for something. And when at last he heard a faint sound of movement not far away, he softly called out. Is that you, Tonto? Uh, I've been waiting for you. Them, them sleep now. Me get way. Deke's gang? Uh. Then our plan worked all right. Do they believe you're wanted by the law? That's what them think. Good. How much time have you got? Mm, not long. Then we'll have to talk fast. Uh. First, I've got to know what they plan. Have you heard anything? Them not make plan yet. No? Deke wait for Lobo. Then make plan. Well, I see. When will Deke and Lobo get together? Do you know that? Next sun, maybe. Tomorrow. And likely means they plan on striking again soon. That's right. 
I've been thinking things over, Tonto, and I believe I've thought of a way to round up both gangs. Uh-huh. We know the sheriff hasn't enough men to deal with both of them. Uh-huh. Against just one of them, he might be successful. But after the experience the townspeople had the other time he went after just one gang with all these men, they refused to let him try it again. They're afraid the other gang would raid them while the sheriff was away. Mm, I'm plenty afraid. It might be arranged, however, for one of the gangs to help the law catch the other. Oh, then not do that. I've got an idea they will. Mm, what that? Trick them into helping without them knowing it. And with one gang captured, the law could use its entire force to capture the other. Not right. I wish I knew just when Deke and Lobo planned to get together. Them, say, next son. You could probably learn their plans. Uh. On the other hand, you might have trouble getting in touch with me again before tomorrow night. Uh. And if they went into action earlier, there'd be nothing I could do. Mm, no, them not do that. No, I don't expect action that early either. But we can't take chances. Maybe... You get near camp, huh? That's what I was thinking. Before morning, I'll find a hiding place as close as possible to Deke's camp. Uh. And when Deke and Lobo meet, I'll be on hand. That, that'd be good. In case I'm discovered, you'll be there to help. Uh. Now, you'd better be getting back. I see you walked here, and it's a fairly long distance on foot. I me mean, not take horse. Maybe them here. You were right to be careful. Oh, house scout, huh? He's over there with Silver. I'm taking good care of him, Kimasabi. And when you need him, he'll be ready. <laughs> No one in Deke's camp had noticed Tonto's absence. The faithful Indian slipped past the guard stationed with the outlaw leader and returned to his empty blankets. In the morning, the outlaws made no move to leave but spent the time at their ease in the clearing. Then, a little before noon, a single horseman approached. Hey, Deke, here comes Lobo. Hey there, Lobo. Howdy, Deke. Oh, hello there. Hey, wasn't looking for you this early. I figured the sooner we talked over the next raid, the better. Yeah, I was figuring the same way. We got the law in this county so blame mixed up, don't know whether it's a foot or a horseback. <laughs> so we might just as well keep striking while we got things our own way. Sure. Say, who's the engine sitting over there? Him? His name is Tonto. Just joined up yesterday. Didn't think I'd seen him before. Nope. Fritzy helped him get away from the sheriff over to Brunswick. So seeing as how we needed men, we kept him on. Yeah, I could use a couple more men myself. Uh, where do you figure on striking next, Lobo? Thought maybe I'd try for the stage again. Right after robbing it yesterday? Why not? I got men enough to handle a garden driver, even if they are looking for us. Carrying gold, is it? I don't know what it'll be carrying, but there's always something worth the stealing on the Brunswick stage. Yeah. How about you, Deke? You going after cattle again or horses this time? Why? You know where there's any good horses to be had? Ain't heard of any. Well, then it'll be cows again, I reckon. I was saying to Fritz yesterday that one more raid and we'd have enough to sell south of the border. But gosh, I'd sure like to get some horses. Got someone that wants a buy? Shucks, I got a dozen buyers for good horses. What I'd like to have most for is ourselves. We need them bad. That horse I'm riding is as slow-footed as a mule. Well, mine ain't none too good. Lobo, you're the fellow that's lucky. You and your men have got some mighty fine horses. <laughs> well, we'd always be willing to sell. Huh? To us? Sure, if you want to buy. <laughs> you must be loco. Why in blazes would we pay good cash for critters we can steal? You just spoke as though there wasn't none to steal. Well, there ain't none around just now. One of these days we'll find some. Well, the point is this. I'll hold up the stage again, and you'll go after cattle just like before. That part don't matter much. You can go after what you want, and me and my boys will do the same. All that counts is seeing to it we both strike at just about the same time so the law won't be after only one of us. Uh, how about tomorrow? Not too soon. Not for me. Fritz, uh, wasn't you saying that there were some beef critters belonging to the horseshoe outfit that wasn't being watched too close? That's what Link told me. He was taking a look-see up that way. Says they're towards the east end of the range where the line riders don't get too often. And them and the critters were taken. I'm going to stop the stage up near Needle Point. What time about the stage pass there? Around three in the afternoon. Three in the afternoon. Good enough. That's when we'll help ourselves to them cows. That's agreed then. Right. You can figure on it. And I'll be heading back to camp. When will I see you again? <laughs> right after we've pulled off this raid and are ready to plan the next one. Come here, boy. Honest, Lobo. We're going to have the law clean crazy before we're done. <laughs> we'll all be local, but we'll have our pockets full of cash. <laughs> Which same suits me just fine. Well, I'll be seeing you, Deke, and luck to you. Get up, boy. Get up. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Lobo Lawson, after settling the time for the next attack, returned to his own camp. The following day, as the hour approached for the stage holdup, he supervised his men's preparations for departure. Bring the horses up here, Pete. All right, boss. The rest of you see to your guns and ammunition. Maybe there'll be an extra guard along this trip and they'll put up a fight. There is, give it to them. All right, where you been, Curly? We've been looking for you. Did you hear me? I asked where you been. In New Brunswick. What were you doing there? Oh, there were just some things you wanted to buy, some tobacco and a few other things. You crazy fool going into Brunswick for stuff like that when you might be recognized. Nobody knows me there. You can't never be sure. Listen, Lobo, there's something you ought to know. Yeah, what? I've been followed from town. Followed? How do you know? Yeah. Seen a fellow behind me. I tried to get away from him, but that white horse he was riding was too much for me. So you wasn't recognized, huh? Why, you blasted idiot, of course you was, and I'll bet the law set somebody on your trail to find our camp. But it ain't the law. Ah, you blundering idiot. This fellow was masked. I seen the mask. Huh? That's straight truth. And he was alone? All alone. How far back was he behind you? Oh, not over a couple of hundred yards. And what became of him? Did he cut off before you got here? I don't think so. It... Look, boss, there he is now. Masked, all right. Sure got his nerve. Keep your gun on him. Pull up, stranger. Hold oh, 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 oh. Now get down off that horse easy like, and don't slap leather. I got you covered. I wouldn't have ridden into your camp if I were looking for trouble. What'd you come here for? Help. Huh? What do you mean? What are you talking about? You're Lobo Lawson, aren't you? That's me. Don't recollect ever meeting up with you before, though. How come you knew my name? I made it my business to know that. You better explain yourself. I know several things about you, Lobo. For one, you're getting ready to hold up the stage. Yes, uh, you find out plenty, don't you? You've given more than anybody. I haven't. Then what do you I want I want here? you to change your plans. Yeah? You don't know whether there'll be anything worthwhile taking on the stage or not. On the other hand, after the hold-up two days ago, you know very well that the stage crew will be on its guard and likely to have a real fight on your hands. What's that to you? I want you to let the stage go and ride to Brunswick. What? You up to some trick? The bank would pay you better than the stage, even if the stage was carrying money. Is that your game? You figure you can get me to help on a job that's too big for you? That might be. And my answer's no. Maybe you're on a level and maybe you ain't. Suppose you're riding the owl, Hooter. You wouldn't be wearing that mask, but we ain't walking right into the hands of the law for you or anybody else. You wouldn't be. What do you mean? It's where the sheriff is, ain't it? Where the sheriff was. He left town late this morning with just about every townsman he could get. He did? If you don't believe me, ask this man I followed here. He was in town. He must have seen them go. Is that a fact, Curly? I think of it, boss. They did leave town. Then why in blazes didn't you get right back here and tell me about it? Why, Don't I, you uh... savvy what that likely means? I don't see anything special. For all we know, maybe the law's laying for us. Maybe them fellas that rode out of town with the sheriff went to keep watch on a stage trail. Say, do you think that's it? I don't know, but it could be. Now, do you think there'll be danger in holding up the bank in town? <laughs> well, it's made to order. If this itch had here had any sense, he'd have seen it for himself and come and told me. Then you'll try it? I don't see why not. Boss, you had it fixed with Deek to rob the stage. You can't change your plans this late. There ain't time to let him know. What difference does it make? But me I... and Deke agreed to strike at three in the afternoon. All right, we'll do that same. Where we strike don't matter none at all. Don't? Of course it don't. Look here, stranger. Yes? How do we know you're on the level about this? I'll take my chances alongside you. That should prove I am. You'll help with the bank? I will. Then the bank it's going to be. Good. Pete, bring up them horses like I told you. We're riding. <laughs> Deke's men were also preparing to ride. But in the midst of the preparations, Tonto had a long talk with the outlaw called Fritz. When Fritz had heard the Indian's story, he said, Indian, I knew blame well when I helped you in Brunswick that you was going to come in handy. Come along. Uh. Wait till I tell Deke about this. Deke! Hey, Deke, hold on a second. Don't do nothing till you hear what the Indian just told me. Yeah? What was that? He knows where we can get some good horses. The thing we're needing most. Is that a fact, Tonto? Mm, that's right. What's more, boss? He says them horses are every bit as good as the horses at Lobo and his bunch of riding. Yeah? I think we ought to let the cattle go. Get the horses if we can. Well, we can sure use them. Now, the whereabouts are them horses? Them near town. Me show you. Near town? Uh, what's the difference, boss? We could get them and be away again before anybody knew what was going on. Well, I suppose. Only, uh... Only What? Well, we told Lobo he was going after cattle. He said himself it didn't matter about that, didn't he? It was just the time we staged our raid that made any difference. Yeah, that's so. Well, what do you say? We've been needing horses for a good long time now. Fellas, get mounted. Hato, you're riding that horse over there, that dun horse. See him? Uh-huh. Tonto, ride him. Get in the saddle, Fritz. Yeah. Steady there, black jump. <laughs> now listen, fellas. We ain't going after the cattle after all. Our plans have been changed. What? 
And the engine knows where there's some real good horses to be had. And we're helping ourselves to them instead. Tonto, uh, lead the way. It's time to get going. Get up, get up there. Come on. Get up, get up. The Lone Ranger had told the truth when he had assured Lobo Lawson that the sheriff had left Brunswick with every man he could muster. What he had neglected to add, however, was that the sheriff, after leading his party out of sight, had circled back. With his men, he had taken a position in a deep gully which allowed them to watch all the approaches to town. I don't like this. You know blame well, Sheriff. We shouldn't be leaving the town unprotected with them two gangs in the district. There's no telling when they'll ride in. Well, the town ain't unprotected as far as I can see. There ain't a man in it that's able to set a saddle. But we're where we can keep watch, ain't we? Keep watch? All we can see is the trails. Mind anything be happening in town without our knowing it. Yeah. Like them riders we seen going into town just a couple of minutes back. Them fellows with that hombre on the white horse in the lead. We wasn't close enough to make them out. They might be crooks even. <laughs> they might be. They don't seem to worry you none, Sheriff. You don't? Because you ain't got nothing to lose. The rest of us got stores and such. Places that can be robbed. I couldn't be robbed, but I could lose office if I made a mistake, couldn't I? Well, I got a hunch you are making a mistake. I still say I don't like this, Sheriff. How do we know them fellows we just seen are all right? They acted strange enough from what I could make out. Yeah. If they was just punchers, why'd they leave their horses in that grove of trees? Why didn't they take their horses into town with them like anybody else would have done? Now, now, fellas, calm down. When I brought you out here, I said it was to catch them crooks that's been raising net around here. Well, we're going to do it. Both gangs of them. You just wait and see. But we can't get both gangs at once. You savvy that, Sheriff, as well as we do. And I savvy some other things you fellas don't. Now, just keep on waiting and quit complaining. Oh, doggone, this is too much. Now, there comes more fellas. And riding like blazes. Heading for that same grove. Sheriff, I'll bet anything you want to name. That them first riders was one of the gang and this is the other. Yeah, and while we might have had a chance against that other bunch, now that they're together, we ain't no chance at all. Wouldn't have had a chance anyhow, as far as I can see. Even if we'd have rid the town when we seen that first bunch, these had got there just about the same time. Anyhow, you just keep watch. They ain't joined together yet. But they're heading for that grove. I said what? They're in the grove now. If they're the fellows I think they are, you're going to hear more about this, Sheriff. Now, suppose you take a look. Huh? Hey, they didn't stop at all. And they're driving a whole bunch of horses ahead of them. Those must be the animals the first bunch left there. Yeah. They're heading this way. We going after them? Wait till they get a little further out from town. Those fellows are crooks, all right. But I reckon I must have been wrong about the first bunch. They wouldn't steal horses from the fellows they was working with. They're getting mighty close, Sheriff. Close enough. Come on, take after them and blaze away with everything you got. Get up there. Get up there. The first party of riders observed by the Sheriff's posse had been Lobo Lawson's gang. Lobo, entering town and finding the men gone, had been jubilant. The bank had offered no opposition to the holdup. But just as the outlaws were finishing their work, they were startled by the sound of gunfire in the distance. Lobo, come back outside town. We better get going. Got all the cash, boss? Everything that's to be had. Come on, stranger. Lead the way. Sounds like that fire is over to the south. We'll see in a second. It sounds like a battle. Wonder what could have happened. There they are, out there in the prairie. Ah, that's just fine. As long as that fight keeps going on, there ain't going to be nobody bothered to take after us. Yeah, what about Deke's bun? We ought to help him out if it is. It's way easy to hear. That can't be him. Look, huh? see what's happening? The fight's over now. Then we'd better be making tracks. They'll all be heading this way. Yeah, there they come now. now here's the grove. Into the saddle and ride. Yeah. yeah. Then the horses. We're in blazes that our horses get to. Gone. But how? What? Those might be them. Where? Where? That party coming this way. I never noticed those loose horses before. Oh, I've seen them, but I didn't think anything about it. we got to do something. Here they come, and that's a foot. If that's a law, how are we going to get away? It won't do us no good to run for it. They just ride us down. Can't you make them out yet? We'll be able to in a second. Wait, I seen something flash. By thunder, that's a sheriff. Sure as shooting. There's a son hitting his badge, I seen. And every man in town with him. Who are the fellas they're holding guns on? Why, they look to me like... Deep, a... deep in his whole bunch. And us able to do nothing but stand here. Here they come. Do we fight? Fight them off, boss. Get your guns out. We'll give them a battle even if we ain't got horses. Maybe we got a chance yet. They're in gunshot. I got a beat on a sheriff. Oh, my hand. The masked man shot. Where the dream? Stand back, all of you. Stand back. I'll shoot the first man that tries to rush you me. You dirty devil, Spasser. Make a break for it, Bob. Don't move. You might as well give up. Shoot now and it means a lynching. Oh, 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 oh. It's Lobo, all right. 
right. And every dog on one of them sidewinders, the trail's with him. Face your hands. We give up. I drop my gun. Don't shoot. Oh, but you'd never got us if our horses hadn't been stole from us, Blaster. Yeah. You say you had some horses stole? Oh, howdy, Dick. They got you too, huh? Yeah, but the horses. Why, I... some dirty polecats come here while we was in a bank and run off with. Say, how come our horses come back with you fellas? Well, I read that... slow, but we never knew there was your horses. If we know that we. Why, never... you blasted idiots. It was you fellas stole them. It was you fellas that got us caught. What in blazes was you doing over here, anyhow? You said you was going to rustle some cows over on East Range. Look, but you said you was going to hold up the stage. That's why we never thought Never you... thought is right. Well, you That'll know be what... enough of that. If you want to do any arguing, you can do it in jail while you're waiting trial. Did you have any trouble with Deke's men, Sheriff? Oh, they put up a little fight for a while, mister. But we handled them without too much trouble. Bill there got nicked with a bullet, and my deputy got scratched up some, but that was all. Good. I say, Sheriff, what's this masked fellow got to do with things? Ain't he one of Lobo's men? I say not. It was him that fixed up the whole scheme. Then why didn't you tell us, Sheriff? If I said I was doing like a masked fella told me, would you have listened? Well, maybe not, you but don't I blame should... well you wouldn't have. But I've been working with that masked fella right from the first. I even claimed, uh, claimed the engine here was a crook that time in town, just so these outlaws would think the engine was one of them. Hey, there was a redskin that told us we ought to steal these horses. He's heading for that paint horse with a masked man. And the masked man got me to rob the bank. Well, I'll be switched. Dick, you and me was took in right. And now we're taking you into jail. Oh! Come on, Silver Old Boy. We're riding the Pecos. Mustang Marriage is in trouble. Hello, Silver. How are The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Thank <laughs> you.